nine. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm guessing you guys can definitely hear the um the PlayStation um stuff. I can't. Oh, <laughs> obviously that's not good. Let me have a look in the uh devices. Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, like, um, I I ported pretty much what I saved all settings from uh, everything prior to the format, and I just put them back where they need to be. So that should all be good. But I haven't figured out the uh, the issue with the audio. Okay, I'm okay. This is a guess, but it's 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 piping the speakers through the microphone. That's not good. But let's um, change to HDMI port. No, headphones port. We got it. We got it. Okay. Oh. Okay. One skin. The upgrade. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the um the raid and for the follow. Um, I'm going to follow you right now. If I'm not already, I'm pretty sure I am following you. Duh, duh. All right, so it's it's not so loud for you guys, but it's very loud for me. The upgrade. Mm -hmm. Are you sure I'm following you? No, yeah, I, I am. I am. I am. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. I'm following you. It seems audio not on for the game on our side. Really? Oh, um, at the moment, like, um, so. Oh, right, 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 right. Yep, thank you. Thank you. So, desktop audio. Um. Properties? Default, uh... Whoop, there it is. Okay, I think I got it. Holy shison. Don't you just hate technical issues? You just, you just want to stream. You just want to play a game for people on, on the internet. Because that's what your life is at this point. And, um... Then you get here with them technical issues. So yes, once again, E upgrade. Thank you very much, Bombay. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Um, and if you've clicked off by now, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Um, so, God damn, that's loud for me. Um, we'll deal. We'll deal. I wonder. No, look. If we need to adjust, we'll adjust. Okay, we're up to this point here in the game. Yeah, I know, 61 hours. What can I say? We are doing retro achievements as we go along as well. Yeah. How was um, Cult of the Lamb, by the way? Um, was it like your first playthrough? Like, I know that it became available like uh, two or three days ago. And I've been looking at it, I'm, but I'm like, yeah, I'm not paying that much. Like, I'm just... I'm 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 too deep into Final Fantasy VII at the moment. Like I've been playing for months at this point. So okay, it's 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 a bit loud for you, boy. So uh, let me just uh, see if I can adjust that for myself. Okay, wait, wait. So is, is the sound still being altered for you? No, no, good. Okay, so I'm altering it to like fifty percent. Okay. So good. Good for me. Just getting into it, I just like making dumb jokes for it. It, it seemed like a pretty good um, game when I played um, the next best demo. It was, uh, it was pretty legit. I liked it. Now, I've just got to remember with my pea brain, um, what the hell was I doing last week? I'm outside the Chocobo Sage's house. Drop it as because I can. I think... The only reason why I went there is because um, if you go back every um, few battles, you can unlock um, 
like more dialogue and make I guess I get a reward at the end of the day after I do that so yeah but anyway here's cloud that's what we're rocking at the moment I mean I need to learn like the, the combinations a bit better but at the moment I'm just um, I'm putting them um, I've got them equipped so that I can just get the AP and just raise them up. Because the ultimate aim would be to get like the um, the big boy materia. Uh, the huge materia. Cool. I think also you can only carry a maximum of 200 materia. Mastered in this list here. That's what we're working with there. Okay, obviously, we need to go to the, the battle square to get um, a chance at the Omni Slash. I mean, it takes so long, you know. Maybe I'll set aside a, a stream for doing the grinding for that, but it's, it's not essential. With intent, um, we need to go to the Kretzia's cave, um, and we can't quite do that. We need to we need to raise some chocobos. We need to raise some chocobos. So I'm not sure if that's like exactly where we're at. Could be though. But let me just uh, get some things all altered. There, yes. By the way, it did pop up with um, a follow um, thing, didn't it? If not, I'll, I'll play one right now. Yeah, like around random stream elements. Alright, um, yeah, I like this particular follow alert. You got a, like a 1 in 3 chance of hitting this. Okay. I remember the grind for the gold chocobo. Yeah, yeah. But once you get that gold choke bow, man, it's pretty legit. pretty legit. You finally get that knight of the round, and then you're like, ha ha ha. And then you realize, oh wait, knight of the round, it takes like a minute to play out the animation, you can't skip it. And then you're like, ah, oh, I don't want to use this one. Alright, so, this is for you, the upgrade. <laughs> I like to play along, well, I like to make follow alerts because I'm not affiliate, I don't want to be. I'm not fan, I don't want to be. So yeah, anyway, that's the follow alert for you, the upgrade. Um, being distracted now. I'm trying to remember, like, uh, what I need to do. Ah, one thing I should probably also have open is uh, retro achievements. So let me just log into that. I'm so glad I was able to figure out that tech issue um, within 10 minutes. Fairly uh, annoying, but that's what you get for not um, checking everything prior to going live. Alright, uh, let's go to Bone Village. Uh, this is Bone Village. Yeah. I'm to dig up some shit. Actually, we might not be able to get it yet because we haven't defeated, um, what's a diamond weapon? Like, we stole the Cursed Ring, and that was an achievement. But I don't think there's anything new here yet. Yeah, it, it's only like the Lunar Harp stuff. Okay. I vaguely remember saying in the last stream, this could be the, um, the grind for Pokemon breeding. But, um, I, I truly hope not. Where's Tifa now? I need to check um, where she's at with her limits. 
because we could try to get okay okay there's an achievement for getting um all critical like all yeah all seven and you might think oh that's easy no it's not so let's get her beat up a bit like which enemy would be best for this Let's just go to, what is it, Factor Island? Or is it, there is also an island close to here? Am I misremembering? So let's just go to, not to Wutai. Let's go to, um... Goblin Island? Just get some zero nuts. Or, or. Is there an adamant voice around here? On the beach? Uh, I mean. No. I want an enemy that's gonna really hurt on me. This enemy is. This enemy has actually got a chance to glitch. I believe that that's an achievement in the extra set. I think the only way of doing that though is if you um get rid of all its magic. We could try doing that just to see if he actually does it. Like this is like a legit soft lock once this happens, so. I haven't done this for like decades. I think it's when he tries to do his, um, his death force, when he's got no uh, magic left. You need to be manipulated as well. Alright, he's, he's got nothing left. I think he does need to be manipulated with zero MP and then you've got to cast the death force. In any case, this ain't gonna work. I'll probably have to read a guide about it. It's no, no big. I really want to figure out where the um, place to get a uh, carob nuts is. That's what we'll go to. We'll go to Goblin Island. I think they can kind of gang up on you and get. Yeah, okay. By the way, I think it's over here. This is a special island, and we can't go there because it is only accessible by Gold Chocobo. Is there anyone that can cross the ocean as well as climb mountains? The um, Knights of the Round will have to wait multiple streams. I believe it's this one. I believe it's this one for the little goblins. What's your opinion on the remake of this game? Uh, certain people are gonna love it. I watched my friend um, Famicom Mark uh, play it when I came out in Japan, and 
and I was like, okay. I remember some of these things, like you've changed it into your, your own sort of style, but I don't particularly like um, uh, Nomura, the guy behind uh, Kingdom Hearts. I think his uh, storytelling ability is non-existent. And he relies on a lot of, um, dare I say, Kirk's Machina and MacGuffin and bullshit. It's, um, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that he's in charge. It's also unfortunate that I think it's like it's gonna be a three-part game. And I'm just... Uh, like when I saw the scene with all the ghosts and stuff and lightness and darkness, I was just like, oh, okay, I'm tuning out now. I'm tuning out now. Very, very, um, graphically beautiful game. Uh, but I, I've always been a huge fan of um, of the original, and uh, you know, why would it be? Get him in ten. I like the uh, the second transformation for Vincent. I can't remember what his fourth one actually looks like. To be honest. Speaking of Vincent, I think uh, I vaguely remember the Dirge of Kerberos game. I was so excited to play that game, and when I got it and started playing it, I was like... And then when I got Crisis Core, I was like, oh, okay, Zach, oh, cool. And then when I started playing it, like, uh, initiate combat mode, like, over and over and over again. And the story for that was just... just like Genesis and uh, Angeal. Like, no, no son. No son. Of course, I had Yuffie in there. Best girl. But, uh, no, I don't have that opinion in my age. Yuffie was best girl when I first played this game in 97. How about that? That's, uh, that's safe for Switch, isn't it? Pretty sure. I think she was like the, the big selling point for the um the next game. Because like, as we said before, the remake is gonna be three parts. First part has already been released. And then yeah. So I mean Yuffie's apparently gonna be a big part of the second one. I'm not even sure if the second one's dropped or if um she was part of DLC or something, but This is not... I want to try to get an achievement, please. Is there an enemy that can really hurt? Yuffie's DLC? Like, with a lot of those sorts of games, like, I might not play them, but I'll go to YouTube and watch the cutscenes. Sure. Oh, what's worse? It's... Oh, exclusive to PS5? Jesus. I really know how to twist the knife. But I mean, you know, Final Fantasy VII fans, Neon Genesis Evangelion, uh, Evangelion fans, like, we, we know the score. We have the originals, and, you know, and, and then that's okay. It's, it's hard to watch something that you once loved be just torn apart, turned into gacha, turned into all these remakes and rebuilds and reboots and remasters and retcons it hurts but like at the end of the day you know the original like it's still there it's still playable as I'm demonstrating right now so at the end of the day I just choose to ignore it I choose to ignore it and that's the best you can do I don't want to go into the forbidden city again but I kind of don't I can't land in the snow, I'm pretty sure, but... I want the Evangelion case that Asus released? Or is it Asus? I've got, um... I've got so much Evangelion stuff. So much. I've got, like, the, um... The Kyoto models. I've got the VHS tapes. I've got the Blu-rays. I've got, um, several, um... Like 
Saturn and the PS original games. Japanese, of course. Um, several of the artworks, like uh, I'm, I'm a, I'm a pretty big Evangelion fan. Pretty big Evangelion. Yeah, I, I kind of have stopped paying attention to Evangelion, especially after, I think it was the fourth reboot movie. They, like, uh, Hideki Anno finally released it after doing, um, whatever it was, doing, like, Godzilla or something. And it was basically just, like, uh, uh, Anno teabagging the audience and saying, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, over and over again. And, uh, just... It's like, okay, we get it. I know, we get it now. We understand, like, you truly hate this this franchise. The franchise that made you, but you truly hate it. Okay, we understand now. Okay. Like, there's no need to get upset. No need to get upset. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, by the way, I'm, I am just mucking around, but I think plot-wise, I'm meant to um, find huge material. We've got two, I think the next one is going to be Rocket Town, or is it, no, no, sorry, Junon. So, yes, I like getting sidetracked with Evangelion, very much so. Where is it? This is another sort of area that is only accessible by, I think, the gold Chocobo and the black Chocobo? Gold and black. One of these islands is like a weird one. Was it this one? No. There's a weird island that's south of like um Cosmo Canyon. Is it you? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. South Hall? I mean... No? No. We'll try this one. Oh, by the way, I do like a cheers. Yes. Salute. I need to do that with me more. Yeah, these are just worth buying these up. In case they're too weak, they're too weak. Chocobo breeding is going to be a pain in the dick, but it has to be done. Bumukomok! You do, but um, first of all, you've got to beat Mother 3. Ah, shout out to my boy. It's been a while since I caught your stream, but yes. WTF? You're playing Super Castlevania 4 now. Interesting. I'm not knocking the choice, I just thought you'd be trying to, to beat uh, Mother 3. But yeah, that was, that was my thought too, Mark. Um, I was like, at the end of um, the last thing I was playing, which was uh, Guardian Legend, I think. I was like, hmm, I need to play Final Fantasy uh, 7. Yeah, that's what I need to do. It's been over 10 years. So thanks, I was playing Castlevania. I want to do a chapter of Mother 3. Is it is Mother 3 like something that can be kind of chunked? You know, speaking of uh, games that have been rebooted, like I don't know if um you guys have seen um, the adverts on Twitch, but um I've been getting a lot of adverts for uh, Live Alive, um, and that's like an old um, SNES SquareSoft JRPG, and I thought. 
Ooh, that'd be interesting to play. Um, I think it has already been like translated, like a fan translation, so it's playable. But I think, um, sorry, I'm just kind of mucking around here. I'll, I'll find out a stronger one. Um, the um, the remake looks a lot like uh, Octopath Traveler. Yeah, Live Alive is on sale now. I played a little bit of it of the original. Yeah, the original is the one that I'm interested in looking at, to be honest with you. Alright, so, strong enemies at this point in the game. Probably the, um... Probably where we just came from, the, the Whirling Maze, which is now off-limits. Because the, the weapons have just been released. Um, we've completed um, Cloud's um, medieval side quest. So he's been, he was in the chair, he was like chilling, he was like, ah, Tifa's like giving him uh, gobbies, but um, he's back with us now. But now, now what do we do? Where's the strong enemy? Oh wait, wait, wait. on this island, I think uh, there's a, uh, a dinosaur with like 65,000 HP. This monster would probably be ideal. There he is. Alright, so we'll just stay here. Tip use one kill to recently. Keep up with that. Keep up with that. Sorry, I'm just gonna move the chat. Please attack Tifa. Vincent's just gonna love that because it's got the Tetra Elemental on. Come on. Give me your Carabinot at least. Fly up. Oh, there we go. First try. He's got the uh, counter attack uh, material on. You need to start paying attention to me, dinosaur. Start attacking her. Then I'll save it and then we'll go for the uh the limit break. Come on. God damn it's taking his time. Start attacking the girl, please. Thank you. Look at oh, look how tiny the um, limit breaker uh, rises up there. Okay, this is good. This is good. No, I'll attack you for that. Yeah, thank you very much, the upgrade. You have a good night yourself. I'm assuming, like, uh, I don't quite know where you're located, but I think it's North America. So you would probably be, like, you'd be quite late where you are. Thank you very much for the raid again. And you can have another shout out. Yes. Hope to see uh, more of you in the future. Not just in NEC's chat where we're all talking shit and trying to make each other laugh. I do appreciate that. And thanks for pointing up all the the, uh, the technical stuff. Um, yeah. On the cat is today. On the cat is that like a is that like a convention? Uh, but typhoon going. Oh, typhoon. That's no good. The problem always when I help those be better. Be better than the day before. So I become become stronger. God, this is 
taking the lead. This playthrough of mine is already taking quite a number of hours as well, because uh, I, I tried to... I'm not like um, Sark or um, Max, where I just try to like power through the set. Like, if it's my first time, or if it's a game that I truly love, I, I just want to... By the way, Mike, I think, um, um, like, the stream that I call with you and Andy, um, you said that you were feeling a bit under the weather. Must be from having drinky foods. No, I think so. That's all sorted out. God, this enemy is like a dog bit. Come on, just please just pump the shit out inside the little enemy breaks. I don't think uh, level forward works on this one. He's going for everyone, but maybe if we blow bubbles, I think. Oh no, hit him with stank breath. Andy not going through good times these days. The last time I um like other than the stream obviously. Um, the last time I caught Andy um, on stream was um, he was employed by Sega or something, which I thought that's pretty amazing. But uh, you're saying he's uh, not going through good times, huh? Interesting. Yeah, he was a private contractor translating for Sega. Um, after that, he got a job elsewhere, but it's not so good. Mm. That sucks to hear. Because, I mean, he's got the skills, obviously. Do whatever he wants. But, um. Yeah. I mean, um, I guess, like, when you're in a situation like that, you just gotta figure out a way out of it. You can't. Like, continue to passively allow it to just break you down. So, hopefully, he's already like trying to work out how to get out of the situation. You know, I mean that's what I did. Like, uh, I was. Uh